Hello, I'm Eric and I play the French horn. Today I'm going to talk to you about this instrument. The French horn is a brass instrument and it is made by bending metal tubes into various complex shapes. This is the mouthpiece of the French horn and it goes into the lead pipe of the instrument. There are adjustable tuning slides at the back and the front of the instrument. These are rotary valves. Pressing down the valve keys will rotate the valves and change the pitch of the instrument. The bell is where the sound comes out. French horns come in many shapes and sizes. The one that I have here is a double horn. It has two rows of valves. The top row, which is longer, is the F side, and the shorter ones and the bottom are the B flat side. We can change between these two sides by pressing or lifting the thumb valve. Some French horns also come with a detachable bell for easy storage. To hold the French horn, place your left hand like this. The pinky goes into the hook and the other fingers rest on the valve keys. For the right hand, we shape the hand like this and it is inserted into the bell. The horn has a unique sound. Because of its backward-facing bell, it produces an indirect and mellow sound. To make a sound on a French horn, we vibrate our lips like this into the mouthpiece. The vibration is then transferred into the instrument and is amplified and transformed into a horn sound. Like all brass instruments, the French horn is based on a set of pitches called the harmonic series. We can change the pitches by manipulating the tension in our lips and the speed of the air. As you can hear, the harmonic series does not comprise all pitches. It only has a limited number of notes. That is where the valves play their role. Pressing down the valves allows air to go through extra tubing. This increases the travel distance of the air and lowers the pitch. The shortest valve lowers the instrument by one semitone. This valve, which is twice the length, lowers the instrument by two semitones. The longest one lowers the instrument by three semitones. With various fingering combinations, it is possible to play chromatically on this instrument. It's not only used to hold the instrument, but it can also be used to adjust intonation. The more open the hand is in the valve, the sharper the pitch. The more close the hand is in the valve, the flatter the pitch, like this. Covering the valve completely with the hand produces a metallic sound called stop horn. The 
French horn is capable of playing a variety of dynamics and tone colors. It can be soft and gentle, can be powerful and loud. French horn players use different notes to produce more variety of sounds. It is usually marked in a score when needed. Over here, is a commonly used mute called the straight mute, and it goes into the bell like this. And it sounds like this. Over here is a stop mute. Similar to covering the bell with the hand, the stop mute is an alternative to play stop horn. Many genres of music were written for the French horn. Not only you can hear it in classical music, they are widely used in film music. 